Jordan, uh, Jeff talked about he's challenged you, you know, to step up in games like this at times when, uh, you know, you're supposed to. And, and, and you've talked about at times when you haven't. Did you feel like tonight that you did? And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna bring up one specific time here when it was, uh, well, it was, you were up 84, 83. Uh, or I don't know what it was, but you took it coast to coast. Uh, did did you when you got the ball and started up court there? Did did you think about it or did you see something that you realized I, I can go to the hoop and at least at the, at, at the minimum draw a foul? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? It was, yeah, it was your last. It was your last bucket. No, it wasn't nothing that like I thought about or that I seen. Uh, like you, like Coach said, like you just said, um, Coach challenged me and practiced all the time, late games, multiple times when, uh, in previous games where uh, I needed to step up and, and I didn't. And I like, I've been in these situations before, so it was, uh, Coach just tells me all the time, if you want to be good, if you if you want to be great, all the greats in this time, step up and nobody could guard them in this time. So I just think about that, and when the time comes, I. I try to step up and make things happen. Jonah, were you feeling it from the perimeter? Now you're four for eight, you know, at 50%. Were you feeling like you uh, had good looks and, and shooting? Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like uh, every game I get some pretty good looks, and it's just like uh, either them keying on somebody else or just like my teammates finding me open. But, yeah, I definitely got a lot of really good looks today. What's it feel like, you know, to, to come out with one like this? You know, I mean, at this point in the season, you have two left, but it still probably feels good to, to get one that's close like that. I mean, it's just almost like a sigh of relief in a way. Yeah, like Coach said, we've been on the other end of this uh, result many times, many times, and I've been right there many, many times. And uh, it really was just a sigh of, sigh of relief to see uh, we can make a miss at the end. and. Especially for Jonte's last two home games, it was really nice to get him uh, the win. So, yeah. He had one left, you know, and I asked Jeff, you know, what's the difference between a 2-0 and as opposed to a 1-1 one and one and all 2 and He kind of poo-pooed it a little bit, but to finish two, to finish your last two at home winning, don't you think that, it, that it is just a little shot of confidence to have that opportunity or at least – and hypothetically, if that happens that way? Uh, yeah, especially, really, it's for Jonte because he's the only real senior we have right now because mm -hmm. Anthony and uh, Timo and Dre, they all redshirted this year. So it's really for Jonte just to get him to go out on a high note, especially because we got this one, and now just going out 2-0 and would just be perfect to end it for him. He played well tonight. Did you feel like you, when you're walking, you know, when you're able to – Take a, ch a chance and, and check and check him out. That he played as good tonight as I've seen him play in a while. Yeah, it's because we, especially the last the last few practices. Well, this week he been stepping it up, and we've been we've been pushing him more. Like you said, these these last two games are, are for Jante, so we're gonna make sure that we're all giving our part to give to to help him in his senior year uh, with a W. But he he understands that. In order for that to happen, he has to do his part too to help us. You know, it's, so I think that's what it is. Just taking uh, another step to where we want to be. That's all I have, guys. I appreciate your time. No Thank you.